Hey everybody, I'm Heidi here with Leah and Allison and welcome to the first episode ever of Yarn Talk where we talk about knitting news, trends, and interview top designers every two weeks. Today we're going to be talking about how knitting is good for your brain. And I'm Allison and I have an interview with my designer crush Sarah Hurwitz. And then I'll talk about knitting trends and we'll all share what we can't wait to cast on this week. Thank you so much for joining us for our first ever episode and don't forget to follow us online with hashtag yarn talk and share what you think. Hey guys, I'm Leah and we're going to talk about some knitting that has been in the news this week. And there's always these articles that go around that are mainstream news stories that are about knitting and crochet. So it's kind of cool to talk about that. So Heidi, did you hear about that article that was going around about the doctor who took up knitting? Mm -hmm. I did. Um, this article about the doctor got me thinking about how um, the brain science behind knitting and why it's so good for us and why it makes us feel calm and happy. Mm -hmm. And so I looked into some studies and there hasn't been anything specifically about crafting yet, but there has been a lot of science about um, things like difficult word puzzles and also meditation and things like that that we know are similar to knitting. And it's all just so good for you. Um, it releases dopamine in your brain, it makes you feel happy. Um, repetitive motions like knitting and crochet can help reduce anxiety and that fight or flight response you get when something's not going well. So these are all things that we as crafters know very well, but it's, the science is starting to catch up with it. I read that um, like there's this thing called flow that your brain gets into, and that's like the, the most relaxing possible state your brain can be in, and that's what knitting and crochet do, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. It's like the state where you're so focused on one thing that you sort of forget about everything around you and all your problems and your stress and you're just in the zone with your crafting. So keep casting on those projects. It's good for your brain. And speaking of casting on projects, next I want to talk to you guys about one of the biggest trends in knitting right now, garter stitch. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk to you guys about garter stitch, which is everywhere right now. So you're seeing it in mitered squares and afghans made with those. You're seeing it on edgings, in short rows, on shawls like the one I'm wearing, and even on the runway outside of the knit design world. We really shouldn't be that surprised that garter stitch is trending right now. Um, it's got great texture, it offers interesting color work opportunities, and kind of importantly for designers and knitters, it doesn't curl up like stockinette, but it's just about as beginner friendly. So next time you go to cast on a project, maybe keep an eye out for garter stitch, which should not be hard because it's trending. The project that I would love to cast on this week is Ruth Garcia Alcantude's Darley Cardigan, which as you can see is an adorable vintage style cropped cardigan with a turned collar and it's got a sweet little I-cord tie. If you're as into this cardigan as I am, you can check it out on Ruth's Ravelry site. It's rock and pearl on Ravelry. The project I can't wait to cast on is The Falling Leaves Onesie by CJ Alice Jones. You can get it for free on her blog, Tin and Turu de Alice. It's a really adorable onesie featuring a fern lace accent down the front, cute little snaps at the center back and at the crotch since it's a onesie, and there's garter edging on the raglan sleeves, the neckline, and also as the button band for the snaps on the onesie. So cute! Allison, and this week I'm going to talk about my designer crush, Sarah Hurwitz. Um, I have worked with her in the past and I've always really loved her style, um, but this pullover that she just came out with, the Eleve pullover from the latest uh, Knit Scene Summer magazine, um, is just so perfect. I love, it's really cropped, and I love the different color work. And so I would love to cast this on, um, and I kind of was 
dreaming about the color ways that I would do and I would and even though it has a dark color for the main color I would choose a really light gray for the main color and then do the contrasting colors in a really beautiful coral and a kind of variegated charcoal -y color like this and just to get a little bit more in depth about this Pattern, I have an interview that I did with Sarah um, that we are going to look at right now. Hi, I'm here with Sarah Herwitz, and we are going to talk about my favorite sweater from the new Knit Scene collection, her Elevé pullover. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, what was your what was your um, inspiration for the design? Um, so I was really, I love geometric shapes, um, like really bold, simple shapes. Um, and I was kind of inspired by this photo I saw of Beyonce, actually, who is kind of my inspiration for my whole life. But um, a photo of Beyonce wearing a black and white, um, it was actually like reverse side of a Fair Isle sweater. Um, and it had this like, just a little bit of color around the ribbing, which I thought was really cool. So I kind of um, used that idea and added a little more color. Um, it's kind of like my modern take on a Cosby sweater. Well, I love that idea, even though to me, it's not remotely a Cosby sweater. It's like the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> Um, I know some people aren't as excited about um, the cropped sweater craze um, as I am, and obviously you are. Um, could you give a couple tips on how you uh, would would lengthen the sweater? Sure. Um, definitely, the easiest way you can lengthen it is just add a little, a few more inches, however much you want to add um, in a solid color, um, either like the main color or the contrast color. Um, and that is really, anything you're gonna add is really easy because the sweater is really, um, it's straight up until the armhole shaping. So you don't have to worry about any sort of shaping. Um, what I would prefer to do is take the chart from the top um, piece where the shoulders are and repeat that down at the bottom. So you get kind of like the same pattern going there if you want to. Like oh, I love that. I would love that. That's such a great idea. Yeah. And also like, I know a lot of people don't like crop sweaters and I totally get that. Um, but I really like wearing crop sweaters over uh, like a button down like I'm wearing now or over a maxi dress in the summer. So maybe if you're hesitant um there's some ways to wear it without um without i don't know being too scandalous <laughs> well, i love that idea too because some people fall into the same fashion categories and they don't really get out of that comfort zone a little bit and mm -hmm. knitting yourself a beautiful sweater i think is a great way to get out of that fashion comfort zone a little bit definitely all right, and I know the way that the publishing, the knitting publishing world happens. Um, you knit the sweater, what, last summer? Mm -hmm. So uh, what, have you been working on any exciting designs since then, or do you have anything exciting coming up? Um, I'm working on an ebook with a couple other designers, um, and I'm working on another design, which you probably won't see until next winter, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of things that are going um, to happen in the future, so you can look out for those. <laughs> awesome, great, and I know we'll be doing that. Um, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on Designer Crush, the first ever Yarn Talk Designer Crush. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to talk to me. Thank you so much, and seriously, I'm so, I'm so happy you thought of my sweater. We had so much fun making this first episode of Yarn Talk. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you want to see anything in an upcoming episode, leave a comment here or get in touch with us on Twitter at hashtag Yarn Talk. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in two weeks.